Many people love cats and kittens, and we are going to paint an adorable but very inquisitive cat in pastel. To simplify the background, use a medium grey pastel paper. Now start with a white pencil as a base colour, and add a very light touch of green, and blend with a finger. With a dark blue pencil, add a very light colouring around the pupil, and then add some shadowing around the edges. Add the pupils with a black pencil and taking note that they are oval and not round. Now with a dark blue pencil, gently work the blue again around the pupils of both eyes and with a black pencil add the shadows caused by the eyebrows. Begin plotting in the darker areas around the eyes in a series of short strokes. With a cottonwood bud, we need to carefully smooth out the eye area and add the elongated reflection in the eyes with a white pencil to give them a natural look and not as if it was taken with a flash. The blue next to the other highlights is the reflection from the sky. With a rustic color pencil such as a burnt sienna, start adding the brownish tints of the fur and keep all strokes in the natural direction of the fur. The nose is a dark pink and then darken up the nostrils. It is easier and quicker to use a soft black pastel stick for the dark undercoat of the ear. Smooth it out with a black pencil at the edges and with the finger in the central area. Flick out the hairs along the edge of the ear and there's less black in this ear. Work in the rest rustic color and smooth out with the white pencil. Use a soft white stick to fill in all the white areas of the face and then smooth out with the finger. Continue working in all the other black areas of the face with a series of strokes. At the mouth, leave the lighter area of the chin. Roughly add the lower area and carefully add the light rustic color on the side of the face and gently smooth out the pastels. Again, with a cotton wool bud, gently blend the softer looking areas in the fur. To add the other subtle rustic tints in the face, you can lift some of the color from the pencil and then apply it with the bud. The white pencil is wonderful here in smoothing out some of the soft fur and for blending, and especially for merging the black areas where they meet. With a burnt sienna pencil and with a white pencil, begin flicking in the hairs in the ear. Always flick outwards, and then let some of the long hairs go past the edge of the ears. For the smaller hairs in this other ear, use black pencil over the lighter colors. Tint some of the areas with burnt sienna and with a light touch and brighten up with a soft white in the face as needed. Begin plotting in the whisker areas and then continue touching up around the neck area and reinforce the whisker area details with a dark brown pencil and adding the shading to give the mouth a rounded appearance. Give the face a once-over, and make any corrections you feel that is necessary for the finished look. Finette around the neck area with some of the fur color and smooth off with a finger to give it that nice soft look. With a white pencil, add the highlights to the nose and the eyes. The white touch-up gives the eyes that wet and transparent impression. Finally, add the long whiskers with the white pencil. Please like this video if you enjoyed watching it and leave a comment below. Please subscribe for more lessons like this one.